Welcome to Tiny Rails, the game where you theoretically run a train company which consists of one train, which you take around the world, picking up passengers and cargo, dropping them off, completing quests, and being as involved as you like. Now, last time around, I completed the Russia West quest and realised that I was going to need about one and a half million gold to be able to complete the Russia West checklist because I needed to buy or upgrade a load of stations and it actually turned out I needed about 1.8 million in gold. So to facilitate that I've gone off and basically been grinding my way through all the discovered areas I've currently got to make money so I could do that and I then went out and bought the stations. I also, because of completing the jobs and basically doing a lot of stuff to get the money, a couple of my staff levelled up, well, all of my staff I think, Lance the accountant, Sophia the engineer and Hank the guy that clears the obstacles out the way, they've all levelled up to some degree and a load of my cars have levelled up. So. I am now ready to continue with Russia West, or complete Russia West and continue onwards. So my train should be coming into, I think it's a station called Penza, when I hit continue. It is coming into Penza. I'll just have a quick look at the market while I'm here, I'll buy the samovars, get so on sale. Right, so... In the joys of Russia West, which is all these stations, this green area, I literally went out and bought every station that cost 50,000 or less, and then upgraded, and some, the minimum it cost me was 100,000, which is why I say it cost me 1.8 million. However, that did allow me to complete the checklist, which was serve 1,000 passengers, travel 31,000 miles, buy or upgrade the train stations, that was the expensive bit, collect gold from cars and buy cargo. So now, once I hit collect, I will open Russia East, get 50,000, not, not bad investment, is it 1.8 million to get 50,000, and get a new factory. So, let me hit collect. New area unlocked, Russia East. Equally, in this wonderful area, I think it's that map. Right, Russia chapter 2-1, make a stop at Samara, which is why I decided to have my train stop at Penza. So, because Samara is just down the track. Yes, uh, oh, I have completed a ton of jobs, but I found a few more photographs, completed a couple more achievements. So, for example, I'll just show this. The only achievements I have left are play for 365 in-game days, I'm apparently at 150, and travel 300, basically a million kilometres, 621,371 miles, of which I'm 200,000 short of that, so I'm two-thirds of the way there. But I have earned 25,000 in gold from market profit, because one of the things I was doing, earning all that money, was going round and going to all the stations that had cargo requirements, and trying to fulfill a load of them. Right, so the next thing I need to do is go to Samara. So I'll get that underway. It's 261 miles down the road while I go over the rest of the bits. So, for example, Lance is now a level 6 accountant, which means I increase passenger fares by 6%. Sophia is now a level 6 mechanic, so she increases my speed by 6%, I think they were level 4 before, and it takes a while to get them to level up, and Hank is a level 4 track inspector, which increased my cargo drop by 4, which means every time I clear an obstacle I get 6 cargo, rather than, rather than 2, which is the base amount. And I haven't done, one of the things I've made sure I didn't do, I didn't want to change there, so I haven't done any upgrades. But I have also, as you can see in the corner, I've got 1.341 million in gold because I kept going once I'd got the money I needed for the stations 
because I didn't want to get to a point where, okay, I've just managed to complete that, but I now have no money. Yes, this is a long explanation. So what I'm going to do now is the things I haven't been doing, which is increase the maximum cars to the current cap of now 18. I will show you my current speed is 212 miles an hour. Oh, okay, now we get to the next quest. Nika, what a nap. I feel like I slept for a month. Your rail cars are so comfy. Thanks, Nika. We aim to please. Enough chit chat, ladies. We need to go to Novi Urengoi. My father is taking a shipment there. I hear it's experimental parts of some sort. That is perfect, Gabion. Contacted me earlier about this. What was that, Nika? Oh, I was just thinking about a new headline for my blog. Russia has gas. Right, right. Can we get a move on? I don't want to miss my father this time. So, that has completed that quest and gets me 9,000 in gold. As, as I was saying, if I go back to my upgrades, my current speed is 212, but with the money I've got, I should be able to upgrade a load of things. And one of the things I want to upgrade is my speed. Okay, that's taken most of my money away. I want to also upgrade my maximum cargo because that's relatively cheap. I say relatively cheap. And the maximum weight I can carry. And that's pretty much all my money. I'll do that one. And that one. Oh, okay, I've run out of gold. So, I hadn't done any of the upgrades while I was grinding away to get everything prepared for this point. And I haven't done much, most of the cargo or any of the cargo demands in Russia so far. I've delivered very... I might have done one. I've delivered very little cargo to Russia. But I can currently carry 200 cargo. But, having just upgraded my train, and it's... I'll wait till daylight, because it's easier to see in daylight. So, where am I going next? I really should have checked that, shouldn't I? No V Urengoi, wherever the heck that is. I'm kind of hoping it puts a marker on the map. Right, up there. Into Russia East. Oh, I can buy that station. Always nice. Looks like they've got some cheaper stations in Russia East. Okay. Appears it has Tetris blocks for sale. So, let's head in that general direction right about now. And my new improved speed of... 232 miles an hour is my base speed. Yes, my car configuration is, or my train configuration currently, is there's five cars which are money generating, which basically offset your cleaning and maintenance costs. Then there's currently six cars which are passenger cars of various different sorts. Then none of them are level three. The only car at this point that's level three is the behemoth food car, because I like it. But none of the passenger cars are level 3, and when they get to level 3, they'll get swapped out with a level 1 or level 2 car. So I'm always leveling up cars. Then behind them are currently 5 cargo cars. Four of which are level 3 cars, so they can carry more cargo. And one of which is one I'm leveling up, the candy cargo car. And then there's the caboose at the back, which currently has a few thousand in it. I've completed another job, don't know which one. Oh, okay, travel a lot of miles. Yes, I've done a lot of miles. And let me find another job I'm willing to do. Travel a lot more miles. Seems fair. I also need to buy a depot. Well, a couple more depots actually around the world to make my life easier. I'm kind of hoping there's one in Russia East actually. Let me go check the map. Is there a depot in here anywhere? No. There's currently... My nearest depot to where I am is over in Europe West, which is a long way away if I want some of the cargo to transport from a depot to here. So either I'm going to need a depot in Asia, Central or North, when they open up. And where is this? Asia East is currently open to me and I can now get to it without using a ship. Russia East is a rather large area. Oh, looks like something's... Oh, okay, it's a station. Because I looks like something's stopping me. And this is my tendency these days. I'll tend to buy the thing that's on sale. And 
give them whatever they demand in cargo if I've got it. If I don't, then I just keep going. Yes, as I say, I've spent a lot of time... Actually, I'll see if I can show it on the map. If I go over here, I'll click on this one. I've done the cargo for there, there. Not quite there. Not quite there. And if I go around the east, I've done all mo or most of the cargo demands for the eastern United States and quite a few in other places. I come down here and I've come close to completing a load of them. It took a lot of running around picking up cargo and delivering it to complete a load of these cargo demands. I haven't done Alaska yet and I haven't got that far into Canada because it takes a long time to do that. It takes a lot of time and effort which is Where's my train? Okay, where was my train? So where I can find it again. That's Europe. That's Russia West. So my kept train should be... Okay, my train should be somewhere. Oh, it's over here, okay. It's headed this general direction. That looks like I've got an obstacle in the way. A cow! Some more stuff. Thank you, Jess Alexander, for telling me that, or explaining to me that if my cargo on the train is full, if you move, move an obstacle, the cargo you pick up does actually go to the depot. I was not aware of that. So, what was I? Oh, right. I should have completed one of my cargo jobs to get more experience for one of my people. As far as I'm concerned, the amount, the level they're currently at is pretty good, it's going to take a long time before any of my people level up again so I'm not concentrating on levelling them up, I'd rather earn money at this point I'm doing all this talking, probably time to clean and maintain the train right, it's now daylight, of course I just say here's the, yes, the train configuration in daylight, the arcade car followed by the Bali beach car followed by the ta a taco car I've got a lot of those behemoth food car and a happy cube car. They're my money earners. The ladybug car, passenger tr car, a double decker, steampunk, a golden steam car, another steampunk, and a bullet car. Oh, it's a bullet cargo car. I didn't realise that was a cargo car. I thought it was a passenger car. Shoots how much attention I was paying. Followed by a candy cargo car, followed by two coal cars, followed by two flat freighters. So I've got six cargo, so I want a couple more passenger cars, as I've upgraded my my train so it can handle more cars, assuming it can handle the weight. So let me see if I can find a non-level 3 passenger car. What are you? You're a food car? I've already got a ladybug car on there. I try try and avoid putting too many cars of the same type. I've got four of these steampunk cars, which is why there's two of the same type on there currently. That's a Skyview car. Doesn't carry many passengers, but isn't that heavy either. So you can go at the back of my passenger cars. And that's all the passenger cars, which... I oh know, there's still more cars over here that are not on the train. Um, yeah, I've got a lot more cars. I kind of forget how many cars I've actually got. Because... I've collected pages upon pages of them. What's that? That's a red and black passenger car. Uh, shove him on the train. So another one of those. Yeah, I can't fit another car on there, so... So that's a couple more passenger cars added to my train. Oh, I actually have a watch, so I can actually sell you the watch. And I can take a load of those. But my cargo capacity is perfectly fine. I figure I can spend a bit of time concentrating more on passengers now. Or at least the capacity for passengers. And I think I will, at the end of this episode, actually go out and get another car because I haven't been to the gumball machine for quite a while and I resisted doing it when I was
just grinding away for money. A, because it would have cost me some money. But B, where's the fun if I can't share it? That's what I want to find out. What's my my train speed? It's currently 232 miles an hour with the current configuration. But if I boost it, 290 miles an hour is now my train's top speed. Which I think is not a bad top speed when it's completely and utterly packed with cars. And before anyone suggests it, yes, it's there is an easy way of grind or an, a relatively easy way of grinding money in this game. The transatlantic tunnel between St. John's and Galway, you can take, for example, 10 jobs that earn you 5,000 apiece for mileage uh, at either end and by the time you get to the other end you'll probably have earned yourself about a hundred, yeah, so between, between 70 and 100,000 then just you reverse and go back the other way and keep doing the same thing I did not do that uh, I was aware I could have done that but where would be the where would the fun be in that I wanted to fulfill a load of the cargo stuff oh god I load more of these things Shapkas. I don't know if there's even a market for Shapkas. I suppose I could check. Let me check. Shapkas. Where are they? Okay, there is a demand for them somewhere. In Saratov. One place in Russia has a demand for these. I don't know where Saratov is. And where am I going? How close am I to getting there? I'm there. Oh, it's the next station down the road, I think. No, it's not. Still three stations away. Yes, there's a problem with Russia. The, the map is rather large. Right, so if I look at that station, I'm going to buy that station because it's cheap. Now, Russia East is a lot cheaper than Russia West. Well, at least it appears to be at this point. That's not exactly cheap. I should check what the Russia East checklist is like. Serve a thousand passengers, travel 31,000 miles. Fire upgrade 60 Russia East stations. Get 50,000 gold from cars and meet the market demands of one station in Russia East. Okay, not ideal necessarily, but potentially doable. That's an easy station to, or cheap station to buy. And upgrade to the first stage. I like stations that cost 500, then 1,000. The more of them, the better. One, it's, too, well, it's not too expensive, but it's that one. That one's uh, what I, with one, two, three, four, five lines coming into it. I would have thought that station would have been a lot more expensive. It's down this way. That's still Russia, okay. Not sure where e Asia East starts, but. Sorry. Asia East. That's got to be. Is that Asia East? Yep, that's Asia East. It's Japan. So that's the border border line. That's got me a few stations. That's another one. My train's happily going along. Yes, Russia's large, so the journeys in Russia between stations is surprising. Not surprisingly large and. In this case, snowy. And here is the other wonderful little tri trick you can do if you want to. Is when you're going across snow, your train slows down to half its speed. Well, you get jobs for your for the experience of Sophia, your mechanic, to get the train to go at X speed. Let's see. Okay, that's it. Didn't tell me that job had completed. I'll see if I can find one currently. Travel at, let's travel 621 miles an hour. That's okay. I can't currently seem to get get a job that says make the train go faster than 254 miles an hour. I can accept that job very easily. Then go to this page. 
clear the snow from the tracks. That will get my speed back up to the 232, then boost it. What do you know? Completed that job. So what you can do is you can go around Alaska or this part of Russia, if you so prefer, and accept jobs like that, and then get Sophia a load of rewards. I don't know how, how far they level up to your people, but that would be the fastest way of getting Sophia highly experienced. Okay, copper cable, that's a new resource. A Russian building block, looks like a Tetris block, and cooking oil, which I know is actually needed in St. Petersburg. But I'm not planning on going back to St. Petersburg anytime soon, so I'm not going to pick that up. Right, so off to the next station, wherever the next station is. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that name. Uh, I can go with Nyagan there. Nyagan, Nyagan. But I'm not even going to pronounce Vartoshk. Nitschnev Vartoshk? That's as close as I'm probably ever liable to get with the pronunciation of that name. Never even seen that name before, let alone heard it, heard it or pronounced it. Happily going through Russia East. Oh, now I've come to a standstill. Okay, I've got 23 out of the 60 stations. Yes, I could put on an auto destruct base, so Hank deals with the obstructions as well. And I, when I'm telling my train to run round and do do its own thing, when I'm not playing the game then I do tend to turn that on because when you come back you get some free car or you frequently get free cargo from obstructions which the train met when you weren't playing the game. However... I'll wait to this caboose. 23,000 in the back of my caboose now. That car, candy, storage car, as I say, these, these four cars are all leveled up to their max because I want the carrying capacity. So, there's how many cars in front of the cold cars that could possibly level up. And it looks like it's going to be a while before most of them are going to get to level up. But looks like I'm going to be putting either another ladybug car on or another steampunk car. Yes, I don't have that many passenger cars I haven't used yet. Unless I get another one when I do a gumball roll. This car's close to levelling up. And again, if you really want to just sit around and level up a load of cars, you can just go back and forwards again through the transatlantic tunnel. It's best part of 3,000 miles long. So it gets the cars quite a chunk of experience each time you go, go through it. Equally, not the most stimulating thing you can do with your time, and I haven't, but I can understand that that is a possi possible way of helping yourself. Okay, this one's gasoline tanks. I've got some of those. I can buy uranium. Must be not something that they should be selling to me directly, but okay. Okay, I'm thinking... If there's only one place that wants these... I've forgotten where, where it was. Let me see if I can find... Yeah, I'm going up there, which is not the place that wants Shapkas. I don't know where the place that wants Shapkas is, but it's not up there. And as I'm going to make 10 profit on every single one, they can have them because I want to buy the uranium that's on sale. Yeah, I don't know. I know I need, I want the pasta, tulips, meatballs, bonbons, utility knives, casino chips, sausage, tea, sheep, hockey sticks, lemon, 
not necessarily the coal, for various things in Europe. Whether or not I actually bother to take it back there is another question. Okay, there's a couple of places in Russia that want coal. I'm not sure where MA is. Or GN. But at least a couple of places in Russia that want coal. So if they have an actual cargo demand for it, I will keep it until I get there. Nothing else I wanted in the cargo, was there? No. So off I go to the place for the second part of the quest. Then I will set my train in that direction. Go to the gumball machine. And then end the episode. Can't remember if this is episode 42, 43, somewhere around there. But doing the episodes is not a problem, it's sometimes it's the amount of hours it takes to get yourself in the position where you can complete a checklist or fulfill the cargo requirement requests of various t t stations. That's what takes the time in this game, and I don't tend to record those bits because it's it's not the most interesting thing to watch is me going round in circles so I can pick up the types of cargo I want and then drop it off. So I try and avoid boring you too much. Yes, and I have noticed a bug with some of the jobs. The uh, is it collect cargo from obstacles which requires 35 doesn't always show up when the job's complete. The travel to 30 cities to fix the books doesn't always show up when it completes. And the 3,107 miles doesn't always show up when it completes. So there are a few things with this game that don't always work as you'd expect. And then, this time it worked. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't with the 3,107 miles. Sometimes it notifies you, sometimes it just doesn't feel like it. Whereas I've never had a balance the books in 10 cities ever fail to notify me. So it seems to be the ones at the top end of the scale of each job type that may have a problem. But as I mentioned previously, or I think previously at some point, there are a few bugs, some with the theoretical opening hours on some of the money-making cars. There is a limit somewhere, or it seems to be a limit, I don't know if it's actually meant to be, that when you're away from the game your caboose will only generate up to about 30, 37,000, 38,000. Which is fair enough, if you're going to be away from the game, you, should you expect to come back and find a quarter of a million in your, in your caboose? Let's show this. Yeah. My depot currently has 3,000 out of a possible 4,000 items already in it. Yes, I've been using my depot rather a lot. Nika! OMG! Are those robots? No, it's a space train. A space train? That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it, Carter? What do you mean? If Railco can't dominate this planet, they might as well try and dominate outer space. I took a photo, photo of Blackwell. We can prove he was here. We have to stop my father. Or I need to beat him to space first. We? Aren't you using us to lower your father's stock so you can buy him out? Space travel is so much more fun than buying stocks. Stop. Who goes there? We need to leave, quickly. We need to regroup somewhere remote. Somewhere like Vladivostok. Oh, I can actually pronounce that one. Okay, I'm going to pick up the chunk of amber that's cheap. And it looks like I'm going to Vladivostok next my money for completing that quest and then find on the map Vladivostok 
That's a long way away. Okay, could have been a worse route. I was thinking I'd have to go down on a well along the bottom. Oh boy, that's a long way away still though. Alright. Well that's where I will start the next episode from is coming into Vladivostok. Oh no, I did say I was gonna set off on the way. And then I was gonna go to the gumball machine. And I'm a man of my word. So let me get a new rare car. Okay. A Skyview car. I got close. Let me try a more standard car. A carrot car. Another car I've already got. Well, I'm not doing particularly well for getting unique cars. Oh, it looks like my game car is ready to level up. So that's now leveled up. So let me replace that as it's now a level 3 car with a money making car that isn't a level 3 car. Food car, a taco car. I'm only using a taco, one taco car. Let's see one of those. Oh, like just, does that sound that I just completed another job? Right, I will use a ball pit. One last administrative task to go. Say so one last. Take that job because hey snowman let's clear the snowman out of the way that's going to give you another administrative task oh no didn't actually complete any of the complete cargo objectives alrighty now now another job's finished all right I'm trying to end the episode but it keeps doing things to me That'll take a while. Okay, that's where I'm going to end the episode. As I've now completed Russia West, we're now in Russia East, and going to all sorts of wonderful places, and I'm not going to worry about that job until sometime in the future. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed at least seeing where I've got to if you've never seen Russia East before, because I hadn't. So I've no idea what's going to happen with the quests and the story now, because I've never seen any of this stuff before. Hopefully I should be able to get through Russia East without a huge delay like I had with Russia West by needing to generate a lot of money. Although I still want to generate more money because, well, I want, as I say, I want to buy more depots, because otherwise it's hard to get your goods to where they need to go. Righty-ho, I'll shut up. And hopefully I'll see you down the track for more of tiny rails in the near future. Cheerio!